All right, Shalom. This is the brother Malak coming back at you with this truth. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai, Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Call Eloyim not Benawi Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Ha'ukah Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and blessings and salutation to the whole for the elect, the Bayat, the Pada, the House of David. This is just a part nine of exhortation, and uh, I'm in the book of. Uh, Matter of fact, let's go to it. Hebrews, uh, the 13th chapter, the 14th verse. And it says this, For here have we no continuing city. It says, but we seek one to come. And that's the kingdom that we seek to come. All right, the kingdom is, is the city that we seek to come. Our rest, you know, Lord willing that I may be a part of that elect, I may be chosen to see, to be the first fruits, to see the, uh, the kingdom, man. All right, and out of two third to be destroyed here on this side and then eventually see the kingdom. This is why we go out and teach. This is why we go out and put our lives on the line as a living sacrifice, all right, for the most high. Okay, so this is Hebrews 4 and 9. It says, therefore, it says, there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of the most high, the people of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai. That's the kingdom, man. You know, you know, that's our homeland, okay? What the Lord gave us, the land that flows with milk and honey, the land of promise, okay? The land that was promised to us. Hebrews 11, 9, 10, 12, uh, 10, 12 to 16. It says, by faith he sojourned in a land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which he uh, which have foundations, whose builder and maker is the Most High Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. There all uh, these all died in faith, not having received promises but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For, the, uh, for they that see such things declare plainly that, uh, that they seek a country. And hey man, that's the kingdom, man. That's all praises to Yahweh and Yahshai. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned, but now they but now they desire a better country that is a heavenly that is a heavenly wherefore the most high is not ashamed to be called their power. Right? Yahweh says, For he hath prepared for them a city. I'm talking about the kingdom, man. Huh? The land that floweth of milk and honey, the promised land, man. Huh? You know? Because the people, the people are the kingdom. The people make up the kingdom and then we get the physical kingdom, man. If you understand what I mean, okay? Hebrews 12 and 22, it says, But ye, but ye are, are come unto Mount Zion and unto a city of the living power, the heavenly Jerusalem. That, hey, that's the kingdom, man. We're going back to our homeland, you know? We're going to rule the earth. <laughs> and to an innumerable company of angels, Micah 2 and 10, it says, Arise and depart, for this is not your rest. Right? Arise and depart out of this, out of America, man, out of the ways of America, the philosophies, the things that they've been pushed on. Get up out of there, man. Take all that filth out of your mind. Wash all that away. Okay? Because, because it is polluted, and it will surely destroy you, even with a sore destruction. That's right, because all of this madness and garbage in this kingdom will surely destroy you, man. You know, it'll break you down to a morsel, man. The philosophies that's pushed off in this kingdom are not the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's nothing but wickedness, man. You see, nothing but wickedness. 1 Corinthians 7 and 29, it says, But this I say, brethren, this is Paul speaking, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. That's right. You gotta, hey, listen, be as though you had none. If you gotta, hey, man, listen. I got this work to do for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We got a kingdom coming to us, man. But there ain't no time to play around. 
There's no time to play around in this thing, man. You know? See? Because if you, if, you, if, you, if you truly, truly into your woman, man, completely into your woman, you'll lose track of what you're supposed to do. And that's the work of your how about shit you all shot, man. So, you know, be it possible, be as though you had none, man. You know? 2 Corinthians uh, 4, 17 and 18, it says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us far more exceedingly, exceeding an eternal weight of glory. While we look not, not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. Right, and that's the kingdom, because we... We, we look on it, it says, while we look not at the things which are seen, right? It says, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, right? Because this kingdom is temporal. This kingdom we're living in right now, the so-called white man's kingdom, right? The self-proclaimed uh, self so-called white man. <laughs> His kingdom is temporal, man. Okay? This place is temporal. It's going to eventually be destroyed. The Most High is going to rock this place to smith. He's going to put this place down, man. Okay? This place will be no more, man. We will be the rulers of the earth forever and ever and ever, man. Being joint heirs with, the, with our big brother, Yahweh Shai, and heirs with Yahweh, man. Who gave us, who gave us this, uh, this earth, man. Who built this earth for the saints, man. Okay? It says, but the things which are not seen are eternal, right? Meaning forever. Things which are not seen are forever in the kingdom. And that's coming, man. That's going to be, we're going to rule that forever, man. We're going to rule this, this planet forever. Everything is going to be underneath our feet. Starting with our big brother first, Yahweh Shai, man. Because he's going to get the glory first. He's going to get the glory. And then ultimately, what? We're heirs with Yahweh Shai, so we're going to get the glory too. And we're heirs with, and we're uh, 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 joint heirs with Yahweh Shai and heirs with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Right? All right, so let's go here. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 1 through 8. It says, For we know that, it is, that our earthly house of this tabernacle was dissolved. We have a building of the Most High, right? The, hey, man, eternal bodies, man. It says, In a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens it says for in this we groan right these bodies earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven it says if so be that being clothed we shall not be found naked for we that are in this tabernacle do groan right in this in this body man in these bodies our bodies got to be changed, man. In the blink of an eye, that's why the Lord says He's going to change our bodies. In the blink of an eye, we get beamed up into them chariots because we the, the, these bodies can't inherit the, uh, the kingdom, man. We got to we got to get brand new bodies, man. We can't have this going in the kingdom, man. These bodies are filthy, man. It says, "Being burned, not for being burdened, Salakia, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon the mortality, right? Mortality." It says, but be swallowed up of life. Now he that have wrought us for the same self thing is the most high, who also have given, uh, given unto us the earnest of the spirit. Therefore, uh, therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whistling, we are at home in the body. We are absent from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. That's right, be absent from the body and present with the Lord. We rather That's what we rather be, man. You know, that's how Paul was feeling. Hey, brothers and brothers is feeling like that too because these, these bodies, man, and living in this kingdom, this is garbage, man. This is a garbage kingdom, man. Not happy here, man. If, you, if you're happy here, you, you are your damn mind, you know? But anyway, Philippians 3 and 20, it says, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, right? We look for Yahweh Shai to come back. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, the Amashiach. Okay? And that's what brothers is looking for. Brothers is looking to see Yahweh Shai come back, man. Lord willing, you may be a part of that elect, man. 
That's why you gotta pray, man. You gotta hope and pray. Continue to do the work, man. Continue to keep pushing, man. Colossians 3, 1 through 3, it says, if ye then be risen with the Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, right? Seek those things which are above. Because there's nothing on this earth. This earth is garbage, man. All right? This kingdom right here, meaning to say. Okay? This, this is garbage. All right? And not the things that are on the earth, for ye are dead and ye... It says, and your life is hid with the Hamashiach and, and, the, and the Most High, First Peter four and seven. But the end of thing, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Second Peter three thirteen to fourteen. Nevertheless, we are according to His promise. Look for a new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent, and that ye may be found of him in peace without 